Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Azotemia Introduction Azotemia happens when there is a high level of urea and other wastes that contain nitrogen in the blood. It happens when the blood is not correctly filtered or cleaned by the kidneys. Blood tests can diagnose azotemia. Treatment focuses on correcting the cause of azotemia. Dialysis may also be needed. This program explains azotemia. It talks about the symptoms and causes of azotemia. It also covers its diagnosis and treatment. The kidneys. Kidneys are organs located in the middle to lower back on both sides of the spine. The urine that is formed in the kidneys flows through tubes to be stored in the bladder. These tubes are called ureters. When the bladder is full, a person feels the urge to urinate. Urine is emptied through the urethra. The main purpose of the kidneys is to make urine by filtering toxins out of the blood. Toxins are chemicals that are harmful to the body. Tiny blood vessels in the kidneys filter the blood. These tiny blood vessels are called glomeruli. The kidneys also help to keep chemicals in the blood that the body needs to stay healthy. These include sodium, proteins, sugars. The kidneys control the amount of fluid we keep in our bodies. For example, when we drink more fluids than we need, the kidneys make extra urine. When we do not drink as much fluid as we need, the kidneys make less urine. The kidneys help to regulate hormones that strengthen our bones and produce red blood cells. Since the kidneys constantly filter the blood, they are sensitive to anything we eat or drink and to any medications we take. The kidneys also help to keep our blood pressure regular. Many kidney diseases result in high blood pressure. Damage to only one kidney is not usually a major problem since the other kidney can take over for it. But if both kidneys get damaged, a person will die within a few days if they do not get treatment. Causes There are three types of azotemia. Pre-renal, primary renal, post-renal. Each of these three types has a different cause. Any condition that reduces blood flow to the kidneys can cause pre-renal azotemia. Pre-renal azotemia may be caused by burns, dehydration, heart failure, loss of blood volume, prolonged diarrhea or vomiting, shock. Pre-renal azotemia may also be caused by conditions that interrupt the flow of blood to the kidneys. These include a blood clot in the renal artery, certain types of surgery, injury to the kidney. Primary renal azotemia is caused by damage to the kidneys. Sometimes it is called intrarenal azotemia. It is also known as acute renal failure or ARF. Kidneys may become damaged from diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney diseases, repeated kidney infections, taking certain medicines. Postrenal azotemia is caused by a blockage in the kidney's collecting system. This system is made up of tubes. It connects with the ureters to drain urine from the kidneys. The tubes in the kidneys may become blocked by kidney stones or tumors. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Symptoms when the kidneys are not working right, the body retains water. This leads to swelling in the face, ankles, legs, and throughout the body. The extra fluid can cause shortness of breath. Since toxins build up in the body when the kidneys are not filtering them out, azotemia can cause a person to feel tired and weak. This is partly due to the body not making enough red blood cells, a condition called anemia. 
Sometimes azotemia can cause pain in the abdomen, often below the rib cage. It can also cause blood pressure to rise and the body to make less urine. With time, the skin can become pale. If nothing is done to treat azotemia, death can result from toxins building up in the body. Other symptoms of azotemia may include a rapid pulse, confusion, dry mouth, thirstiness, frequent urination during the night. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will first ask about your personal and family medical history. He or she will also ask about the symptoms you have been experiencing. A physical exam will also be performed. Blood and urine samples may be collected and tested. These tests can help rule out other conditions. They can also help diagnose azotemia and its cause. Blood tests can measure levels of waste products in the blood. Urine tests can also measure the levels of waste products in the body. Urine samples may be tested to measure how well the kidneys are working. Imaging tests may be used to find the cause of azotemia. Some of these tests include CT scan, MRI, ultrasound, x-ray. Other tests may also be done. These depend on what your healthcare provider thinks the cause may be. Ask your healthcare provider about any other tests that may be needed. Treatment Treatment for azotemia depends on the severity and the cause. It may include stopping some harmful medicines, dialysis, diet changes, IV fluids, medicines, surgery. Azotemia can sometimes be a harmful side effect of some medicines. Determining whether azotemia is caused by a specific medicine and stopping that medication is the first step to help treat azotemia. Dialysis is a process that replaces the function of the kidneys. In some cases, dialysis is temporary and can be stopped as soon as the kidneys are able to function again, but dialysis is usually a lifelong treatment. There are two types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Each works differently to filter toxins out of the blood as the kidneys normally do. Hemodialysis reroutes the blood to a dialysis machine. The machine cleans toxins and regulates the levels of needed chemicals in the blood. Special IVs are needed for good blood flow to and from the dialysis machine. Peritoneal dialysis uses the lining of the abdominal cavity to clean the blood. This lining is called the peritoneum. A tube, also known as a catheter, is surgically placed in the peritoneal cavity. A solution called dialysate flows into the peritoneal cavity through the catheter. The solution interacts with the blood through the peritoneum, filtering out toxins and cleaning the blood. After peritoneal dialysis, the fluid in the peritoneum is drained to the outside of the body into a special bag. The same cycle is repeated many times a week. For dialysis to be successful, patients have to follow strict dietary restrictions on the amount of salts, proteins, and fluids they eat and drink. Your healthcare provider or a nutritionist can help you learn how to eat correctly. IV fluids can help increase blood volume. Medicines may also increase blood pressure and the amount of blood pumped by the heart. This can help until the cause of decreased blood volume and pressure is found. Surgery may be done to remove a blockage. The type of surgery depends on the location and severity of the blockage. A kidney transplant can cure some kidney diseases that cause azotemia, but there are not enough kidneys available for all patients on dialysis. It may take years on a waiting list before a kidney becomes available. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Azotemia happens when there is a high level of urea and other wastes that contain nitrogen in the blood. It happens when the blood is not correctly filtered or cleaned by the kidneys. There are three types of azotemia. Pre-renal, primary renal, post-renal. Each of these three types has a different cause. Blood tests can diagnose azotemia. Other tests may also be done to see how well the kidneys are working and to find the cause of azotemia. Treatment depends on the severity and the cause. It may include stopping harmful medicines, 
dialysis, diet changes, IV fluids, medicines, surgery. Talk to your healthcare provider if you have the symptoms of azotemia or other kidney problems. Only your healthcare provider can tell if azotemia is the cause of your symptoms. Thank you for using Explain.